Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time again. As you can see, we have a level up event and a science advancement. And I have a lot of science class catalysts in my overflow. So it's a perfect time to take someone to rank five. All right, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a look at my overflow. If you saw my uh, Spidey, Stealth Spidey rank up, you'll know how I got to this point where I had a bunch of class catalysts in my overflow. Just look at all of those T2 alphas, okay? Perfect time. Look at all of those science class catalysts. I do not want to be in the position where these guys are expiring and then I don't have enough time or resources uh, you know, I might be short on some resource. All right, so which science are we going to take up to rank five today? And drum roll, please. It is going to be, hmm, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, six or five stars at rank three. And who do you think? Who do you think? It's going to be. Got to choose, got to choose. Void, that's who we're going to take to rank five today. Now, I already took Void. Uh, I had a Void rank up and gameplay video not that long ago when I took him up to rank four. Now, as you can see, Void is not awakened. He is the champion that I want to awaken the most. Uh, his signature ability is very key to his damage uh, he can be played without it especially if you have the despair mastery but he really needs to be awakened now he doesn't need to have a high sig but the higher his sig the more damage he does so you want to have him at a high sig uh, but any point every single point up to max sig is worth it for void uh, a long time ago, I waited for Void. I wanted Void so badly. Uh, I got Captain America Infinity War, who does a lot of the same things that Void does. I set a limit. I said, okay, if I don't get Void out of the next three openings, then Captain America is going up. I had a Science Awakening gem, and I had um, enough to max out his SIG. And I wanted to do that for Void. Did not get Void. So I went ahead and did that to Captain America. No regrets. He was very useful to me. Finally, I pull a void. But at this time, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of use for him. It's not that he's not a good champion. Um, I just have other options. But he's still good. And I can still use him in situations that I can't use Captain America Infinity War. So he's a great tool to rank up. Now... Uh, at one time, I remember Vega Man, my alliance leader, said, if I get Void and rank him up, uh, he's going to change my path in Alliance War. But that was a long time ago. Uh, I have generics. I don't have a Science Awakening gem, but I do have generics that I could use on Void. But at this time, I have no plans to. All right, so let's see a little gameplay on Void and see what he's like without being awakened. Okay, we're going to go into Variant 2, uh, Chapter 2, Quest Number 3. Here's the team. Do a little meet the team. Uh, show you some of the uh, synergies. I don't want to go there. It's easier to see it this way. Uh, that I have active. All right, so I have this one with OG Hulk. Uh, just gives me a chance to gain up to three Furies when I'm charging a Heavy. I probably won't use it, but... I'll try to remember to use it. Uh, this one here, when I'm activating a special three, uh, Void gains a reality warp for 30 seconds, increasing the duration of any Fury effects activated afterwards by 20 seconds. Now, this one here is the one that is fun for me anyway. Uh, with Killmonger on the team, uh, Void, switch over here, Void regenerates 1% of his health when inflicting his intimidating debuffs. Since I'm running suicides, 
and void is not suicide friendly, that can be very useful. Okay, if I'm sparing with my specials, it can be very useful. All right, and the rest of these aren't really anything. See them here. And this one, I have tech on the team because the path that I want to take, which is going to be the aggression regeneration path, has a gate. And you have to, as you see there, that tech, you have to have a tech on the team to get there. All right, so we are going to, um, let's see, for the first fight, I'm going to just try to get to where we are using void. So I will fast forward this. Okay, not too bad of a fight, but we want to get on to the Void matchup. All right, let's take a look at the node here. Uh, these are the global nodes, Particle Protector, Micro Reflex, Size Matters. Uh, basically, what you need to know is that Void, being a medium champion, he needs to stick to intercepts and heavy attacks because anything else has a chance to be glanced and when your attacks are glanced you're going to take damage unfortunately void needs to fire off those special ones that is the main style of void but you can slow play it and the debuffs will get on your opponent slowly all right and i'm also running suicide so i want to be sparing with the uh specials anyway all right, and you can see the rest of the nodes here, and Aggression Regeneration is the main node that we're going to be dealing with, all right? So let's see how Void does without being awakened. So first thing, trying to stick to the heavy attacks. All right. Okay, what we need, we need to get the, um, the petrifies on them. Okay. One petrify. And even that one petrify is doing well. Okay. Fire off another special. We got two petrifies. So at this point... We just want to let that aggression regeneration build up. Just build it up. And the more it builds up, the more damage he takes as it reverses the healing, and he's down. Now, if Void had been awakened, that fight would have been over even quicker. Okay, so Void is still usable, unawakened, and I do have the Despair Mastery. So that helped a lot. Every debuff on him reduced the healing. But honestly, if we get the two petrifies, we want more healing so that we'll do more damage. But you can see that Void can be used uh, without being awakened. All right. Let's, uh, let's play around with another fight here. And we'll fight with a uh, cable. And see how we do there. So, same strategy. Heavy attacks. Basically waiting for uh, the petrifies. Now, another way that you could also do this, you don't have to uh, do the heavies. You can let that um, healing uh, build up instead of uh, attacking and just wait for the uh, petrifies and then only do heavies when you're getting backed into the corner 
or um, attack into his block. Okay. So I don't want to get too backed up, but I also don't want to hit him and get rid of all of the uh, uh, healing that he's doing. All right, we need another petrify, but you can see his health just melting away. And if he was awakened, um, he would get that nice fear of the void eventually, and then be all over. All right, and he's down. So, a couple of ways that you can play Void, uh, as you saw, uh, and this way here is a more passive way. That's what Void excels at. He has a high health pool, and he excels at passively playing. You know, with uh, Captain America Infinity War, who can also do this, but Captain America Infinity War has to land parries. So, with Captain America, you would back off, let the uh, regen stack up. And then just start parrying him, parrying him, parrying him, okay? That's what you would do, and that also works. But there are situations where Void is going to be able to uh, handle it where Captain America Infinity War can't. Uh, if you have any kind of damage back where you don't want to attack or if they're stun immune, then Void is your guy. All right, so that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.